Hi, welcome to today's quick edit. Yesterday, we edited an image of one of my cats named Jasmine. We don't want her to get, or my other cat to get jealous, so uh, be the cat photography lady this week, and I will do a picture of my other cat named Peaches today. Peaches is an orange and white kitty. She's actually a girl. Most orange kitties like her are boys, but she is a girl. She's very demanding of attention. And she's very fluffy and pretty, as you will see. So I'm going to go ahead and start working on her image. Whereas yesterday, we went for a really high contrast, grainy film look, uh, black and white. We're going to go for We're going to make this one black and white as well. But we're going to go for a much softer, lower contrast, glowing sort of look today. So I'm going to go ahead, convert her to black and white. And we're going to do it all manually. I'm not going to use a profile today. I'm going to increase. I'm cheated here. Okay, but sometimes you can do that. Go ahead and do it. I clicked the auto. I You didn't notice. I very rarely even try that. But I remembered, uh, I did a little test edit. Usually I do a quick, not a full edits on some of these. I do a couple of settings just to make sure that I'm not getting myself into a photo that isn't going to work for me. And the auto settings came out pretty darn good place to start on this one. So that's what we're going to do. So you increase the clarity. Not, not real, look real harsh. Ooh, awful. But I'm going to do it just a little bit and dehaze it a little bit. Now I'm going to come down here to the tonal curve. I'm going to increase the shadows even more than it did. I need to bring in that light in her eyes. I'm gonna point with the cursor, not my finger, because that will make more sense to you. Um, she really need to bring in some more light in the eyes there. And while I reduced the strength of the highlights a lot up here, you can see that it's down to negative 81. I'm going to increase work on the tonal of the highlights to make them glow a little bit more. You lose less detail doing it that way. Lights. I'm actually going to bring them up just a tiny bit. I'm going to go use the healing brush real quick because there's a string over here bugging me on the pillow. I'm just using my mouse for a simple edit like that. It takes a little practice. And I have a, a Wacom Intuos Pro. But for little edits like that, it's really not worth it to drag it over. All right, it's already looking pretty good. Let's see. Now I'm going to try up here, get the adjustment brush, and I'm going to adjust it to shadows and make it much, much smaller. And I'm going to see, see what's the, they're higher there. Let's just put it over her eyes. We don't want to do that horrible, harsh look that happens sometimes. It fake alien eye look. Okay, I missed a little bit, so I'm just gonna bring it in here. Turn it on to show the overlay. A little bit right here. All right. The mask looks good. Yeah, so we're gonna bring up just the shadows there a bit to bring a little bit more light into our eyes. We can try the exposure, but I have a feeling that'll be harsh. Just a, a little bit's okay, not too harsh. She does have very light eyes. So, let's bring up the clarity in her eyes just a touch. Again, really wanna avoid the horrible alienized look, but that looks good. Let's take a look at the original photo. Oops, cancel, never mind. It's still working. I mean, we went on a road trip this weekend and it's my computer's still working on getting everything done in the background. All right, so let's do a little sharpening. Okay, turn it up a little bit before the masking will work for me. Hold down the Alt key. 
I don't want all that stuff in the background sharpened or the pillow, just details on peaches. That's pretty good. I, that might even be worth it doing it with a brush, but in this case, I am just going to do it here. No need for any noise reduction back there. I could remove the little fairy lights that are up here in the corner. There could be an argument for them being a distraction, or they could be an argument for them adding to the frame. The picture's also crooked in terms of being up and down, and I'm not sure if I want to correct that, but let's go ahead, let's click Auto. Cannot straighten this one automatically. Let's see if we give it an idea of what we want straightened, how that looks. Nope, I'm not going to straighten it. I'm going to leave it crooked because otherwise I'm going to crop too much of the cat out. And I don't think it being crooked here is terribly distracting. I will take a look. Nope, I'm not going to crop anything out. All right. I don't want to put a vin. Well, I said I didn't want to. And then I'm like, ooh, maybe. Okay, yeah, I'll bring a little bit again. Don't want it to look obvious. This is super nasty obvious. But I am going to bring it in and adjust it and have it a little bit harsh when I start so that I can see what I'm doing. Now I'm going to make it less strong. There we go. I am thrilled with that. I really like that. She looks very sweet. So that is it for today's quick edit. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you again tomorrow. Subscribe to my channel for daily photo quick edit videos and frequent longer Lightroom, Photoshop, and photography tutorials. Click the bell down below to be notified whenever I post a new video. And please visit terrymcclary.com for prints, image licensing and downloads, and photography articles.